All right, so the first thing I do when a student claps back at me and it's a major issue and I need to address it, I remove the kid from the classroom. So I ask them to stand out in the hallway um, and then I give them and me a chance to calm down. If I've gotten upset and dysregulated, then I give myself a second. Um, then I join them outside and the first thing I say right off the bat is, are you okay? Because usually they're not. Usually it's something else going on, had nothing to do with my class. Um, after that, I let them know that I care about them that I respect them. And if that's not coming across to them, then they need to let me know because I want to address that as well because I am not perfect. So sometimes I've made a joke and it just rubbed in the wrong way or something like that. So I give them a chance to let me know if there's something I should be doing. Then after that, I let them know that part of my job is to help them be successful and their peers be successful. And if we're behaving the way we were behaving today, we can't do that. So I am open to suggestions on how I can help them be successful and meet their goals. Now, if they refuse to do their work, there's nothing I can do for that. Like, I can only do so much, right? Um, but whenever it is that they're ready to start doing their work, to start participating in class, I will be right there to support them. And I let them know that. I, I tell them, like, I can't make you do anything, but whenever you are ready to, let me know, I'll be right there. I am happy to support and help however I can. And then I let them know, hey, you know what, just FYI, you and I are good. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm okay. All right. And I want you to know that you and I, you and I are fine. And then the next time they come to class, they make sure and say, hi, how are you? All of that. So it's like a full follow up and all of that. And that deals with, I would say, 80% of the behavior issues I have. Um, and that's what people mean when they say build a relationship is that you don't choose your pride over a student's mental functioning you know like does it piss me off sometimes absolutely should they talk to me the way they talk to me sometimes no but is winning that battle really worth it when I can build a relationship with that kid and they can actually learn a bigger lesson here yes do not get in power battles when you can avoid it and I 90% of the time don't even have to because by building that relationship they know that I have the power and they are willing to trust me with it